I'd take a, a few minutes and just kind of show you what uh, what to bring along with you if you uh, ever want to go and do the Allagash River trip. This is uh, this is my equipment. That's what I bring along. And uh, basically, of course, we have our tents. And some, uh, obviously, tents. And then we have uh, a canoe that, uh, that we got from uh, Katata Air Service. And uh, we rented that, rented the canoe from uh, Katata uh, Air Service, and they had it stashed out here when we arrived. So that was quite a convenient way to go. Bring some rope, plenty of rope, clothes pins for uh, hanging up your laundry, air out clothes. Bring a large tarp. I mean, I can't emphasize how nice it is to have a huge tarp to cover the. Uh, this is zoomed in on me here. There we go. I can't emphasize enough uh, how nice it is to have a huge tarp that covers your campsite. It just provides shelter when it's raining, you get that thunderstorm. And it also provides shade uh, when it's really hot. So it takes, into, it takes these campsites and just makes it real homey. So it's worth the extra weight to uh, pack a very large tarp to uh, cover your picnic area. Coming over here, uh, I like to uh, bring along a collapsible water jug. You can fill them up at the springs uh, and have drinking, fresh drinking water for a couple days. You can uh, fill it up in the lake and just use it for you know washing your hands or you know this is sundry stuff. We made wanigans. Wanigans are essential, as I talked about in packing a canoe. They keep uh, keep your heavy stuff. Uh, lower in the canoe, packs compactly, and uh, just travels really well. And uh, this is a tool. I've got one one again, which is a tool one again, another one again, which is a food one again. And the food one again, uh, you know, bring some dry milk, instant milk, saltine crackers. Spam's always good if you can't catch any fish, catch a coffee. A lot of instants, you know, lemonade, iced tea, uh, and tang, orange juice for breakfast. And uh, your cornmeal for your corn muffins. And I had flour that I baked some bread with. Uh, mac and cheese is always good. Baked beans. Um, I've got plenty of food left over. I bring fresh bacon for the first couple of days, and then I have dried bacon uh, towards the end of the trip. And then sugar, cooking oil, um, I mentioned the pancake mix, and cookies, uh, you know, some desserts, and then the cans of uh, fresh vegetables. So just kind of make out your menu, and, uh, and then you can just pack it all in the one again. Uh, you know, of course, a lot of it is dry goods, things that will keep for a long time. The first couple of days, what I do is I, I'll pack, uh, you know, like eggs, butter, some perishables, in a soft cooler, and then I stick that in uh, in this uh, bag. And uh, so the first first couple of days, that is kind of our cold kitchen pack, and then after the ice melts, you know, which usually which usually lasts a couple of days up here when it's cold. Then, uh, then the ice chest becomes where we pack away our, our trash. We kind of rinse it out, clean it up a bit, and then we just toss it in there. So that's our carryout. And it keeps it sealed so that, uh, you know, the animals don't smell it and uh, raid your campsite. Coming back to, uh, coming back here, uh, it's nice to, it's convenient to have uh, instant hand soap to wash your hands. So I've neglected to mention the of course, the hot cocoa for the mornings and coffee, and uh, and the tool chest. A couple things uh, we bring a collapsible saw. You can see that there. Just folds away, stows in the uh, tool one again. And then I have a uh, an axe. Mine is uh, Snow and Neely. It's made in Bangor, Maine. Highly recommended. Excellent axe. Your bug spray you know go in here I have a gas stove that I use primarily for uh, you know torrential downpours or an emergency 
but I've only broken it out, uh, you know, maybe twice this trip. I mean, I cook everything over wood fire. It's just uh, more convenient, and it's, uh, you know, it's kind of the traditional way of uh, cooking food out here. I bring a uh, griddle, and I bring uh, stuff to wash dishes, and I bring a collapsible uh, pots and pan set. Not collapsible, but the stacking. So I have a pot, small apart, and they all stack inside this. I've got a couple of plates. Uh, I've got a, uh, a measuring cups. I've got the the, uh, the reflector oven that uh, that you saw me use. Underneath the reflector oven is a pretty large first aid kit. It takes up this whole area. I've got just about everything in there that you might need. And uh, this is the uh, great for cooking coffee. I mentioned collapsible shovel, uh, Bowie knife, two canisters of fuel. I've only used one. And you know your flashlights, um, and then uh, I've got game pieces, you know the chess pieces and stuff that uh, if you make one of these lonigans can go, that go with the top. Playing chess or playing backgammon. A um, couple water bottles for during the day traveling and uh, just fresh drinking water. You're going to want a filter. This filter is great for filtering lake water. Uh, bring a sleeping bag. Uh, I go with the uh, synthetic rather than down. I mean, the synthetic, it gets wet, still retains some good body heat. You just really need a summer weight uh, so they can pack pretty compact, you know, pack pretty well. Uh, Thinsulate mattress, uh, your camera, and uh, you know, you want a waterproof bag for that, obviously. This is my uh, Duluth bag. And uh, what I have is a sealable bag where I can put my dry clothes in, and then I do, you know, just pack miscellaneous stuff around that. And then I have uh, this is my tump line for carrying uh, the Wanigans. And you're gonna want um, wet shoes and dry shoes. You know, those were my uh, wet shoes, but they kind of fell apart on me. And then I've got some Gore-Tex hiking boots for dry shoes. I also had some, uh, also had some moccasins that are great for wearing around camp. But I started wearing those for my wet shoes after my moccasin, after my uh, you know, flip-flops got trashed. And then I have a, uh, this is kind of like my little, my little personal pack. Went in here, I've got my glasses, uh, and the smaller first aid kit. I've got a headlamp. Uh, you know, it's great for, I've got a compass, GPS, um, moleskin, and then I've got, you know, my toothbrush, toothpaste, any purse print. I've got my bar soap on the side, and then, uh, in this one, I, the camp soap is what I use for shampoo, and I also use it for, uh, you know, to do laundry. I use it to, uh, wash my hair, uh. Use it to wash dishes. It's pretty well an all-purpose biodegradable camp soap. So, uh, and then of course we brought a couple fishing rods. These are collapsible fishing rods, and what we do is they just kind of telescope down, and then I toss them into the uh, one again toolbox. So that's essentially uh, everything that uh, everything that we got, everything that we need. So it's a great trip. Highly recommend it if you ever make it up here. Takeout day on uh, Sunday morning. We're on uh, Round Pond, Gel Bearers Round Pond, and we're canoeing to our uh, rendezvous point with our float plane. And this will be mark the end of our trip. What have you thought of the trip, Kurt? Interesting. Interesting. Did you have fun? Yeah. Yeah? Would you do it again? Got to think about that one, huh? <laughs> <laughs> it's it's uh, it's not a 
the Allagash isn't a trivial trip. I mean, there are some long, arduous days. You're up against uh, three strong winds most of the time uh, across the big lakes. It's a lot of uh, paddling, and you feel it in every uh, muscle of your body, splitting wood for fires. It's, uh, it's a hard trip, but I think it's well worth it. And I'm sure we'll uh, be out here again once uh, the memories of the pain fade away and all that's remembered is the good times.